Hello dancers, welcome back to our channel here at Image Ballroom Dance Academy in Dallas, Texas. My name is Rangel and today we're going to be discussing another wall step. We're going to be doing the back lock. Let's get going. Next, we continue with the footwork of your back lock in international style walls. We're going to start with the leader's footwork first. You're going to start with your back to the line of dance. So this is going to be my line of dance. I'm going to turn my back to the line of dance. I'm going to start standing on my right leg. Let me demonstrate first. You're going to go back, back, cross in front, and finish on the right. So we're going to slow down now. We're going to explain exactly what happens with our footwork. We go back with our left, then we go right, cross the left foot in front, and finish with the right foot standing and carrying the weight. One more time, let's take a look a little bit faster. So it goes left, right, left, right. And you're gonna finish on your right leg. Now, followers, let's take a look at your footwork. You're gonna start with facing the line of dance. So this is the same line of dance that we were using for our leaders. This time, you're gonna start standing on the left leg and you're gonna be taking your first step with the right foot forward. Let me demonstrate a little bit faster first. We're gonna go right, left, right, left, and you're going to finish on your left leg. So let's take a look a little bit slower. You're going to start with the right foot forward, followed by a left foot forward, right crosses behind, and finish standing on your left leg. One more time. Here we go. Right, left, right, and finish on the left leg. This is your footwork. Now that you know the footwork, let's take a look at the timing. We're gonna start again with the leader's timing first. So your first step goes back on count, one with the left. The second step and the third step are going to be syncopated. They're going to be splitting the second beat into two halves. It's going to two and or quick, quick, and you're going to finish on count three, which is a full beat on your right leg. Let's take a look one more time. So you go back one on the left, two with the right, and cross the left foot in front, partial weight, push from it, and lower down onto the right. Absorb your weight, this is a full beat. So if I count with slows and quicks, this is how it's going to sound. Slow, quick, quick, slow on the last step. In a very similar manner, our followers footwork is going to look quite identical. We're gonna go forward with the right, the timing is gonna be one, two with the left, and we cross the right foot behind and on count three, we're going to absorb the weight and lower down onto the left leg. One more time, with slows and quicks, slow, quick, quick, and finish slow on the left leg. And this is your time. Let me give you some tips for your mechanics and how to make this back lock a little bit better. We're gonna talk about two things. First, rise and fall, and second, country body movement. So let's start talking about the rise and fall. So let us, when you start backwards on count one, this is where you're still on flat foot. On count two, you're gonna place ball of the foot. I'm gonna turn facing the camera, so count two, place ball of the foot, but don't straighten and lock your knees. Start gradually going up on and so count three you can lower down and so let's take a look a little bit faster from this angle we're gonna go one this is flat two is ball of the foot but i'm still not going up and let's say is our highest point on count three i'm already thinking of lowering my weight down i'm gonna turn from the side angle and one two and you notice here I'm going up, and on count three, I will lower and receive my way down into my right leg. Okay, followers, let's take a look at your footwork. I'm gonna turn my back to the camera. So you're gonna go flat on the first step. On count two, it's going to be all of the foot. And it's 
fold the foot, and from here you're going to straighten the knee, you're going to stretch your weight, and then come three, you're going to lower down into the left leg. Let me turn from the side angle. So we go, right foot is flat, left foot is ball, still flex knee, right foot crosses behind, I start straightening the knee, make sure you don't lock completely your knee, and then come three, you're going to lower down ball flat, and you're going to finish on the left leg. So this is the rise and the fall. Now let's talk about the country body movement. Okay, so we're going to start with the leader first. Leaders, on the first step, you're going to have your right side of the body towards the park. As you take that first step, start doing country body movement to the right. This is an indication where you take the partner outside position. You're going to go, hold the foot. This is where the partner comes on the right side of your hip. You keep the partner there and it'll come three, you're going to lower. So keep in mind that country body movement needs to start happening on the first step. One, so you move your frame to the right side of your body. Your feet and your head stay forward. Two, and you're gonna stay with the hips towards the partner, the partner is outside, and you're gonna finish on count three. Okay, let's take a look at the follower. So followers, you're gonna go forward with the right foot. Your country body movement is to the right. You're gonna keep stretching your head, your sternum to the left. This is the indication for you to go outside. You still follow with your hips, the partner. Hips stay towards the partner, cross behind and stay on the outside of the partner on the last step. I've invited my partner Veronica so we can demonstrate the step in a couple for you. And one, two, and three. Okay, let's take a look from a different angle. And one, two, and three. Thank you very much for joining us today. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna see you next time.